everybody, I'm Allie and this is my YNR chat vlog part two for Sunday, July 26th. And Adam never ceases to amaze me. You can say what you will about the guy, but he's kind of brilliant. He came up with the plan that basically framed Mary Jane for all of the gaslighting of Ashley and it allowed him to stay on the ranch instead of getting shipped off to a halfway house. So, I mean, come on, you kind of got to give it to the guy in a way. It's pretty smart. Um, I was hoping, though, that Victor might possibly be able to see through it, um, considering he very quickly accepted that it was probably Mary Jane, I'm sure with his own level of guilt, that was gaslighting Ashley, but he, in the same breath that he was accepting that, he was also um, praising Adam and saying that someone on the inside had to have been helping her. So, you know, I'm surprised that he wasn't able to uh, put two and two together on that, but still, Adam is not out of the clear just yet. He's basically just gone from plate spinning to, to now juggling. Um, first, he broke up with Rafe this week, and Rafe did not take it well. Beware a gay man scorned. This is not going to be pretty, and I'm just waiting for the moment that Rafe just looks at Heather and says, I had your boyfriend. <laughs> You just know he wants to say it. He's just dying to come out with it. Um, or maybe, who knows, maybe Nikki will be the one to tell her sooner or later. She certainly had the opportunity this week, although she did not uh, choose to seize it. Um, it was probably a wise choice on her part, but damn, I just can't wait to see um, Heather's reaction. She's just so going to get hers for all of the crap she's done lately. I just, Especially with like Phyllis, I'm just waiting to see her get her. So it'll happen, definitely. Definitely. Um, and this week, though, Nikki, although she didn't tell Heather, she did manage to uh, tell Nick, which was really funny. I really loved Nick's reaction. It was both hilarious and cute at the same time. Um, and you could tell that Nick was just dying to tell Victor. He so wanted to tell him, like, you know, I may have turned you into the FBI, but at least I'm not your gay son. <laughs> you know, you could just really tell, really tell that Nick wanted to, to say that. But um, Nikki realized that she wanted to save this little juicy tidbit for herself, and she wanted to be the one to tell Victor. And I have to tell you, I have been waiting for the Victor reaction for, well, since this whole thing started, I've been waiting to see Victor's reaction when he learns about this, Nikki just sat Victor down very calmly and she just told him that she saw Adam and Rafe kissing and Victor had almost no reaction at first. I think he turned to stone. It was just like, mm-hmm. You know, like he was just really letting it soak in. I wasn't sure what he was going to do. Um, and then later he went up to Adam's room. Of course, they're dramatically saying, I know what you've been hiding. Um, and expecting, I guess I expected uh, Victor to give Adam a really good lecture, but instead he totally accepted it. Victor just basically told Adam, it's okay. You're my son. You'll always be my son. And then he left. He left the room and that was it. So it was, it was better, I guess, than, I mean, it wasn't explosive, but it was a really, um, I was, I guess I wasn't expecting to Victor to be so accepting. I, I, maybe I underestimated him in that area, but I, I'm happy that he accepted it. Um, of course, it, it makes Adam look even worse because Adam has received so many levels of kindness this week, not just from Victor being accepting of him, no matter what his lifestyle choice is, but Ashley going to him and asking him if he wants to be the godfather of the baby. Oh, they're being so nice to him and he's so terrible. I mean, really, how can he continue down this path? How is it even possible? I mean, Adam, isn't it time to start coming back towards the light? And of course, I had to mention that uh, Mary Jane Benson is now wandering the streets of Genoa City, eating out of dumpsters. Um quite delicious and hilarious. Um, the poor thing had to leave her kitty behind. Oh man, Mr. Kitty. Will this be the last that we see of Mr. Kitty? Oh, how sad.
Well, maybe they'll be reunited one day um, in Mary Jane's padded cell. Uh, let's hope so. Because time has really run out for her. She doesn't have a whole lot of options left, and she certainly doesn't have anyone left to help her, except maybe Mac, and oh, Lord. Um, you know, she's really going to have to either kill herself soon or kill Sharon, which is probably the more uh, likely, or try to kill Sharon, more likely a scenario. Uh, so she found a trash can baby, um, a baby doll, a trash can baby doll, gouged the eyeballs out, put it in a box, and left it outside of Sharon's hotel room doorstep. Look out, Sharon, really, really, Mary Jane is coming for you. Ooh, so what did you guys think of Deacon's indecent proposal? <laughs> he is so bad, but he's so good. <laughs> Don't you think? I mean, you must know what I mean. I mean, truly, it's it's a conflict, an inner conflict for me. Uh, okay, so what would you do if you were Amber? I, this is what I've been asking myself all week. Like, would I do it? Because on the one hand, Yes, yes I would, <laughs> but on the other hand, I would just know that even if I went and did what Deacon wanted, having sex with him, how horrible, that I would just know that, that he would somehow turn it on me and that he wouldn't keep his end of the deal. Like, I would have been thinking that he would videotape it, you know, like that, that would have been my guess, but uh, yeah, and that's almost exactly what happened. Of course, of course he didn't keep his end of the deal. He's Deacon. Um, if he went you know, to the trouble of framing Daniel for this crime so that he could get to Amber, I would, you know, I would know that he would want her more than once. He doesn't just want her once, he wants her again and again. I loved when he said, well, if there is such a thing as, as a soulmate, truly she is mine. I loved that. Oh, it's so fun, you know, and of course, though, of course, Daniel had to start coming around about the whole commitment and marriage thing at exactly the same time as this is happening. How sad. It's like, you know, Deacon forces Amber to make love to him while wearing an old lingerie set that he bought for her which was weird, um, and then, then rigs the phone so that Daniel hears the whole thing only, what, hours after realizing that he actually wanted to, to marry Amber and be with her forever, and they were talking about being together in the old folks' home together? Oh, it's just so hard. It's really hard, because I feel torn. I really love Amber and Daniel together. I think they're a wonderful couple, um, but I am also really liking Deacon. I cannot lie. I am very happy with his presence. Um, you know, I think I want Daniel and Amber to stay together, uh, maybe while we work to make Deacon a little less evil. I mean, I like a little bit of evil, but a little less evil. And so, you know, then maybe by that point, she'll actually start to want Deacon, and then we could have like a Daniel Amber Deacon uh, triangle going. That would be awesome and hot. E either way, please, 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 please. YNR, keep Deacon on the show, give him a job at Newman, and for goodness sakes, give him a couple of shirtless scenes, will ya? Okay, well those are my thoughts about the show for this week, but wait, have I got a surprise for you guys. Now, just because Jana won't let Kevin do all of the merchandising around his chipmunk idea doesn't mean that I can't do it. So, I decided to make this adorable, awesome, cool uh, chipmunk button. It's a two and a quarter inch pin back button, and it's got a chipmunk on it, and the text says, Crack your inner nut. Aww, isn't that cool? And this button right here has two of your names on it. So all you have to do, this is going to be like a contest giveaway, all you have to do is in the comments of this YouTube video, write the phrase, crack my inner nut, because I think that's hilarious. And I will put your names into a hat, and next week at the same time, I will draw the names of two people who will win this awesome button. Hooray for prizes! So leave me all of your regular comments for the week, but then just make sure that you include the phrase, crack my inner nut. 
and you will be entered into the drawing. Now, speaking of contests, I actually recently entered a contest that's really important to me. Um, as you may or may not know, I run, own and run my own business, um, which is in large part based around my shop at Etsy.com, um, which is a place where all kinds of artisans get together and buy and sell handmade items. Well, Etsy is having a video contest, and I love making videos, um, so I entered it, and they're asked, they were asking people from the community to submit a video advertisement for them based around the theme Handmade Moment. So it was just, that's all I had to go on, Handmade Moment, and I had to make a video. It either had to be 15 or 30 seconds long, um, and I worked really, really hard on it. It's only 15 seconds long, but I worked really hard on it. My entry is up um, on the website, and part of the judging for the first round is based on viewer comments. So if you guys would be so kind as to click the link, I'm going to put it in the sidebar description of this video. Click the link and leave a comment there for me. I would really, really, really appreciate it. Again, I'm going to put the link to the video in the sidebar description of this video. If you could just leave me a comment, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And as always, you can go to my website at buttonhead.org and you can check up on me as much as you want um, until next Sunday when I do another vlog. So I'm going to wrap it up for now, but I will definitely see you guys then and we'll, and we'll have a contest to announce too, so that'll be fun. Um, hope everybody's enjoying the show. Can't wait to read your comments. Have a fabulous week. Bye!